Hello, my name is Sergio Karpov and I'm going to present our paper Illuminating the Dark or how to recover what should not be seen in functional encryption based classifiers. In particular, I'm going to study the information leakage in this type of classifiers. Let me start with some context of this work. We are interested in privacy preserving machine learning. That is to say, we want to perform some machine learning predictions using uh, while preserving model and data privacy. Uh, different cryptographic techniques can be employed to perform this task. We, amongst them are the multi-party computation, the morphic encryption, or the functional encryption, which we'll use in this work. The application domains for this type of techniques is huge, uh, starting from medicine, finance, insurance, advertisements, and etc. For example, we can uh, imagine a use case where a bank want, uh, wants to perform a credit, credit score estimation but without uh, having access to sensitive personal information in CLIA. I this use case can be implemented using uh, encrypted uh, personal information and the bank will apply a computational functionality over this encrypted data it, and it will obtain the credit score an estimation of a credit score in CLIA. So, uh, this type of use case can be implemented using functional encryption. What is functional encryption? Functional encryption is a public key encryption scheme where uh, three parties are implied. We have an user, a server, and authority party. The user party encrypts its data using a public, a public uh, key. X, and the authority has uh, the possibility to generate special type of secret key which are associated to a functionality F. The server can use this uh, special type of secret key in order to decrypt the user data set uh, X. And uh, on the contrary to usual uh, public key encryption scheme, the server will not obtain the decryption of X, but it will, will not obtain the X in plain, but it will obtain the application of the functionality F over X. In uh, the literature, the functional encryption schemes support different functionalities. Amongst them, the most practical ones are the linear and quadratic functional encryption schemes. Uh, these schemes uh, allow to perform uh, degree 1 or degree 2 polynomial evaluations. Other uh, functionalities are, which are proposed in the literature are only of uh, theoretical interest. So, it is straightforward to see how to implement a function encryption based classification algorithm. We can do it in three steps. Uh, we start, the first step is the user which uh, uses the public key pub in order to encrypt its uh, data X. Uh, it then sends this uh, data to the server and the server will use uh, a set of uh, secret, key, secret keys which are associated to, to K uh, polynomials and it will use the decryption procedure of a function encryption in order to obtain the evaluations of uh, these polynomials P1, Pk, uh, at point X. Using these evaluations, the server will be able to directly execute a logistic regression model using, uh, for example, an sign on an argmax functionality, or it can employ a second classifier, for example, a neural network, in order to increase the prediction accuracy uh, of this use case. Uh, there are several machine learning algorithms in the literature which uh, can be employed in this use case because the, all of them start with the polynomial projection of inputs. We can give as example the linear logistic regression, the Gaussian mixture murders model amongst others. So, let me give you an example about how to apply this use case, this classification use case to the MNIST dataset. The MNIST dataset is a database of uh, handwritten digits and the task is to predict the, the digits from, from, from an image. We have an example here. So, uh, previously several authors interested were interested in how to apply function encryption in, in this type of use cases. 
Uh, in 2017, uh, the authors of this work, of the first work, proposed uh, to perform a logistic regression model and they obtained an accuracy of uh, 86%. Also, they proposed another method which uses a linear projection of inputs plus followed by an uh, extremely randomized tree and they uh, managed to increase the accuracy to 92-95%. In 2018, in the second paper, the, uh, the authors proposed to use the logistic regression model, but compared to the first work, they uh, proposed to use quadratic features, that is to say, a quadratic projection of the input, input data. And they managed to achieve an accuracy of 98%, which is uh, quite well, quite good accuracy for this data set. So in this work, Sorry. So in this work, uh, we are going to to study what is the information leakage in this type of use cases. Because as you can imagine, uh, using functional encryption, you, we reveal not only the class of the, of the digit, but we reveal also the polynomial projection, a linear or quadratic polynomial projection of the input data. So we want to see what is the additional information inside we can uh, reveal from in this type of use cases. So uh, we start by uh, I st we start representing how we perform the classification using a functional encryption scheme. So uh, for we propose to use a neural network where the first layer, the linear one, is uh, an equivalent of a functionality of a linear functional encryption. Uh, we follow it uh, by a rectified linear unit layer, which is an optional one, because if we don't use it, we uh, obtain uh, the usual logistic regression model, and if we use it, we, op we, we obtain a neural network. Uh, we can change this network in order to be able to emulate the functionality of a quadratic functional encryption scheme. In order to do so, we introduce two layers. The first one is a layer, is a dense layer with a square activation, and the second one is a linear layer with the same number of uh, uh, elements or uh, outputs as before. And uh, these two layers allow to emulate the functionality of a quadratic function encryption layer. As before, we use an optional rectified linear unit, and uh, if, in case it's not used, uh, we obtain a logistic regression model uh, with quadratic input features. So what about the classification precision or the classification accuracy of this use case? Uh, this classification is depicted in the following in this plot. On the x-axis we have a number of uh, function encryption evaluations employed and on the y-axis we have a prediction accuracy. Uh, as we can see, there's always better to use uh, a quadratic functional encryption compared to a linear one, which is the uh, solid blue line. And uh, also we can say that uh, using only free uh, functional encryption evaluation and uh, quadratic functional encryption evaluation, we obtain almost the same uh, prediction accuracy as using 7 or 8 linear function encryption evaluations. So, uh, so what's uh, or how the information leakage in this type of use cases can be measured? We start by definition. So the information leakage is the maximum information which can be inferred about input data from the available plain text uh, use case data. We, we say that the information leakage is uh, minimal if uh, it, it's the information leakage which is needed to achieve a use case goal. For example, in the classification use case, the, nim the minimal leakage will be the class of X and all the information which can be inferred from the class of X. Uh, also, uh, we say that uh, we introduce the notion of operational leakage, which is the information leakage of a concrete use case implementation. In the classification use case, uh, based on functional encryption, the operational leakage will be the evaluations of polynomials p1 to pk over x, and all the information which we, that uh, can be inferred from these evaluations, from these values. So, 
in order to, to study what's the information uh, leakage or uh, of these use cases, we introduce, uh, we, we use uh, the information discovery capabilities of neural networks. That is to say, we will use a neural network in order to estimate the information leakage. And the goal of a neural network will be to reconstruct an input X from the available plain text data. So, uh, in the case of a minimal leakage, we will use only the prediction of X as input to the neural network. And uh, for the operational leakage, we will use the evaluation of polynomials pay 1 to pay K over X as input. And the goal will be to reconstruct, as I said before, to reconstruct the, the input X from this uh, data. We will estimate the information leakage by an accuracy metric on the dataset. So, uh, this accuracy uh, metric will be uh, used to compare the information leakage of different uh, classification use cases. In the, in, in, uh, the functional encryption based classification use case, we will have two uh, leakage neural network, leakage estimation neural network, which will be the operational of the minimal one, uh, and we'll compare the accuracy of uh, reconstructed in, in inputs X of operational and minimal uh, leakage neural networks, we'll be able to, to estimate, uh, to compare the leakage between these two, this, uh, the minimal and the operational. So, uh, we, we we remark that uh, we are not uh, not only neural networks can be used in framework in this framework in order to estimate the, the leakage we can use any other machine learning algorithm so the information leakage for this data set is uh, is estimated in the following way we have an input x which is a digit image we pass it through the classification algorithm and we use either the prediction of X for the minimal leakage or the, or the polynomial evaluations of X for the operational leakage. Uh, and we uh, fed these values, uh, these clear fed, uh, values to the following neural network, which is composed of two rectified linear units. And the output layer of this network will be the reconstructed image which will uh, be compared to the original image X using uh, mean squared error. So uh, minimizing uh, mean squared error will be the goal of uh, the training goal of this neural network. So uh, the, the in uh, measuring the, the mean squared error between the operational and the minimal leakage, we'll be able to see how much more information we can get about the input X. So, here are some results of uh, the information leakage versus uh, number of function encryption evaluations. As you can uh, see, there is uh, almost uh, no difference between uh, the ideal or the minimal and the operational leakages in the case of one uh, function encryption evaluation. Well, the, with an increase of the number of function encryption evaluation, the mean squared errors uh, between the minimal and operational lines diverge. Uh, so, uh, when you use, uh, for example, 10 evaluation, 10 function encryption evaluations, uh, the leakage is almost two times the leakage. The leakage is almost two times uh, bigger in, uh, measured in mean squared error than the, of the minimal leakage. So, as you can imagine, the, the leakages in this case will be different as a function of a digit we want to reconstruct, because some digits are, are, are easier to reconstruct than others. So, in this uh, bar plot, we have the uh, mean squared error uh, per digit. As you can see, uh, the digit 1 is the, is the best reconstructed digit, because uh, the, the ratio between the minimal and operational leakages is 1.5 and compared to the digit 8, which is the worst reconstructed digit, because the ratio between the minimal and the operational leakages is 1.1. So, 
uh, what can we say about the reconstructed images or the visual representation of the reconstructed images? Uh, in this uh, slide we present uh, four different uh, leakage estimation models. Uh, the first line, second line will be the original, the reconstructed image, the best reconstructed image. The third and the fourth line will be the original and the uh, worst reconstructed image. So in the case of the ideal uh, leakage model, uh, we can see that the reconstructed images are simply averages of uh, input uh, images corresponding to, to a digit, because we cannot infer any other information from uh, the class of, uh, of x, or the class of or the digit itself. On the contrary, if you, if you look for, the f uh, for this case uh, where classification uses a, function, a quadratic function encryption with 10 uh, evaluations, uh, as you can see in the best reconstructed case, we can s we can see that the shape of a digit is uh, well very well reconstructed. So it represents uh, a huge uh, leakage of, uh, of information. So, what can you say about uh, different kind of data sets which uh, imply more personal, more sensitive information? We have studied the census income data set in the same context as, as the missed uh, data set. So we have, uh, uh, let me give you some details about this data set. Uh, the goal is to predict whether a person earns over 50k a year and the input features will be uh, are highly sensitive uh, personal features which are which is uh, the age the education the race or etc as before we have uh, implemented a neural network for our classification using a quadratic or linear uh, first layer and in this plot we depict the prediction accuracy of as a function of number of function uh, evaluation or function encryption evaluations. As you can see, there is always better to use a quadratic function encryption compared uh, to a function to a linear one, as in the case of uh, MNIST dataset. But on the contrary, increasing the number of function encryption evaluations does not, does not increase the accuracy of a model. Uh, this is a well-known fact to the machine learning community because the census income data set is not well suited for neural network type of algorithm. So what can you say about the leakage? So we, in this case we wanted to, to study how much more insight on an input data feature an, an attacker gets from the leakage, from the information leakage of a function encryption based classifier. So in this case, in this experiment we used one function encryption evaluation and we measured the difference between the minimal operational accu uh, accuracies in using the AUC, uh, area under the core score. And as you can see, there's always uh, an attacker will always get uh, high confidence, confidence in uh, the value of an input feature in any uh, in all the studies. As before, we wanted to see how the, this leakage uh, increases with the number of function encryption evaluations. So uh, we have started the sex male field uh, and in this case as we can see the leakage always increases with uh, the increase of number of function encryption evaluations as expected and also uh, we can say that uh, starting from seven evaluations the leakage is uh, so so huge that uh, an attacker will be able to predict with high probability that uh, uh, the value of uh, this feature. So uh, let me finish by some conclusions of this work. It's uh, as we as we have seen, input data privacy cannot be ensured. Uh, in function encryption based classifiers due to limited functionalities of today practical function encryption schemes. Exist existing works use uh, way too many function encryption evaluations which uh, lead to a high information leakage. Uh, we expect that uh, we empirically have proven that more complex functionalities leak less information for the same prediction precision. Uh, for example in the MNIST data set case 
the same classification accuracy is obtained uh, using either seven linear function encryption evaluation or three quadratic function encryption evaluations. Also, uh, the proposed information leakage estimation framework is generic and can be applied to any privacy preserving prediction algorithm uh, which reveals intermediate data. Thank you.